We're watching Kid Nation, a show from like 2003, where they put 40 kids in a fucking desert remote town for 40 days, made them do their own society, and that's all I really know. I watched John Tran's video, it was very funny, but that was a long time ago, and I kind of forget everything. This quality will be very bad. Just know that, because it literally has been stripped from everywhere on the internet, and it's from a long time ago as well. This is Bonanza City, New Mexico, or what's left of it anyway. Oh, I can't wait for this show. I want to see 40 kids in this town now, so badly new pioneers, just their going at it. And build a town that works. It won't be easy. Pioneer living. Like, why did it have to be a pioneer town, too? Why couldn't it just be like a nice little suburban town that they're probably used to? They had to put them in the middle of the fucking Wild West. That seems a little bit cruel. And the amazing part is these pioneers are children. That's right. The oldest just turned 15. The youngest is eight and a half. They are every kind of kid imaginable. City kids. Oh, dude, fucking poor kids looking at pictures of his family. Rich, poor, and everything in between. And they're on their way here right now. Dude, this is so funny that this got cleared. That there was no red flags going up like crazy beforehand. That the host was so confidently is like, and these 40 kids are on their way here right now. We have like no water or food for them. This is going to be awesome. This is Alpha Boot Camp for kids. <laughs> This is what Ray Cash Care wishes he's created. There's no adults, and I think I'm going to die out here because there's nothing. Smart yeah. kid. I think I'm that going. was the kid, if my memory's correct, the Jimmy one was the one that John Tron ends up interviewing in the future. We could probably check that out later. Here's what I'm afraid about. If I catch a bad disease or I break a, bad, a leg. Wish we had subtitles, but this is uploaded to Vimeo. There's no way. Wait. And their leaders? They're kids, too. It's the first ever Kid Nation. I'm surprised that worked so well. Oh, hell yeah. 40 days. It just cuts to a clip of a kid just like bleeding out. He got shot by another kid. Holy shit, Jimmy got shot. They signed the waivers, but he is going to die. This is real. Y'all just noticing Gunner likes kids. No, I like kids in pain. That's different. I like kids suffering. That's a way different thing, all right? Make sure you phrase that correctly when they try to indefinitely cancel me after this. Hey, everybody, oh, gather up, gather up, pack it in. I'm Jonathan. Nice to meet you guys. So how are you guys feeling? Ah, scared. Well, say goodbye to that school bus. <laughs> Somebody chimed in at the end there. Scared. <laughs> scared as shit. Fuck. So how are you guys feeling? Ah, well, say goodbye to that school bus. Your only way back. There and it say goes. Hello to the middle of nowhere. Say peace. You have no more salvation. Bonanza City is just a few miles that way, and you're going to be there for the next 40 days. What the but hell is Bonanza worry. City? Where is Bonanza City? I would escape to civilization if I was close enough. Oh, they're in Mexico. To ghost town? Oh. I feel like there's got to be issues there. I feel like the kids are going to try to start doing some running water, and they just catch E. coli or something. You've got each other. You've also got four leaders, and they were chosen because they represent all of you in age, geography, everything. They're your they town race? council, and I think I hear them coming right now. What the hell? <laughs> oh my God, oh here my they God. come. Holy shit. What an entrance. Guys, get over here! They come down this the fucking wire. Hey! A capable boy scout. I think I'm a good leader because I have respect for other people's ideas. And this is Taylor, a gung-ho pageant queen. She's the worst. Don't spoil it. Also, they are just kids. <laughs> Yeah. I can make this a better world. I bring world peace to Africa with all the orphans, especially to Iraq, and that'd be the number one place that needs world peace. Okay, now you're going to have to write a, an awesome article about why she's the worst, because so far, that was pretty badass. And that makes you all look immediately really bad. The first thing out of her mouth was wishing world peace for Africa. So, honestly, first time ever on this stream, uh, you're canceled, fucking idiots. This is Anjay, a genius spelling Champ. Adults have done a horrible job with the world. Three adults I know have done a good job. George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, and Mahatma Gandhi. And this is Laurel, a respected six. student leader. 
I really believe in my own true beliefs and no one's going to make me think otherwise. This is your town council, and they're in charge, at least for the time being. Until you kill them. Stay on your toes, council. Nothing's permanent. When I saw those Take their life and you become the new leader. Right now, I'd be like, why the hell did my parents sign me up for this show? I want to be a child actor, not a survival guide. Well, Bonanza City is just a few miles down that fence line. Behind me are wagons filled with 40 days worth of frontier supplies. Wait, how you far away is the city that they didn't start them at? <laughs> just a few miles a down. A few the miles? That is so mean for no reason. They don't even bring them to the place. <laughs> they make them go a few miles with the food. Behind me are wagons filled with 40 days worth of frontier supplies. You guys are going to grab oh, a supplies, wagon not food. and get started. It's a long hike. And that's just the beginning. Oh, that was real religious. The next 40 days will be hard. That's it's real scared. Hard. I hope you're up to it. But if you're not, if you just can't handle all of this, well, there's going to be a town hall meeting in a few days where any one of you can decide to give up and go home. It's entirely up to you, okay? Oh, my God. You're going to have to sell it a little bit better than that on how easy it is for them to leave. Because right now, it sounds like you're going to have to, in front of 40 people, say you're giving up, which I think is going to be a little emotionally difficult for a kid. That's like saying you, if you have a class bully and your teacher finds out about it, and in the middle of class, they're like, well, pick out the bully. Pick them out right now. Tell us who it is. Are you ready? Yeah! Pretty excited, pretty jipper. Besides the presidential fitness test, I'm not sure these kids have gone longer than a mile. You got a bad situation! I got it. Got it. Hey, what the hell? I'm sorry, they gave them animals too? <laughs> the hurdle before they bring them over? Hurdle. Now they're not jumping them to, um, to... The rope in to, to herd. That's what I meant. Not hurdle. Herd. I was so close. I, oh, 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 my God. No, get the goat. Okay, buddy. Come on. Dude, no like Jesus, this. how they can't even do that. Council, two things you need to remember. First, after you get to town and settle in, go to the chapel where you'll find an old book that'll give you a lot more information about what to do. Second, there's okay. something I want to show you. It's a good idea to get to know the kids in your town as fast as you can. So because we made every rap few sheets. days, you're going to give one of them one of these. Wow. Okay. It's a trophy for the top kid in town. And because Bonanza City was based on mining, this two-pound star is worth its weight in gold. Literally. $20,000. No. Oh, my God. Introducing $20,000 of a very stealable item into town is also devious as fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. No. Well, when Jonathan pulled out that beautiful, gorgeous gold star, I seriously didn't even know what to think. Did you really make a difference Laurel, one of these? careful. You're kind of showing your motivation a little early there. If you randomly have the star, they're going to look back on that. This is a big responsibility for the council because we have to look at these kids in a whole new way. Promise me you can't tell anybody about this, okay? <laughs> Until you give away the gold dude, star. We don't want to start a riot here on the wagon train, okay? Oh my God, dude, this guy is such a menace. <laughs> <laughs> He's speaking the exact way you would to children if you want them to do the opposite of what you're telling them. He really is laying it on thick. Oh, my Lord. Oh, that's the last one. Okay. Let's get out of this place. Oh. Ah. That was right. way too much weight for kids. Three miles. How are we going to pull this off? I got the eggs from the crate because two have already cracked. It's a beauty, isn't it? We're going to hatch some. We're going to eat some. Dude, what are their skills? Do they know how to raise animals? I don't think it's too much fun living in the old days. I told you that would happen. Really no fun. <laughs> Immediately, it's miserable, dude. Yeah. But it has to be done. It doesn't. Quit. Hot, buddy. You're hot. You're ready to drink. You're not even working, dude. 
I said, Mike, you're not working. And he said, no, I'm working really hard here. Can't you see? But all he's doing, he's standing next to the wagon. He's like, come on, guys, come on, come on. And really, he's just, you know, like one of those guys at the airport that's sort of pointing you in the right direction. Oh, Jimmy was also the youngest one. That's something I'm remembering now from John Tron. Jimmy's eight, and he's the one that's like, it's just not fun. Not to put them down and say that they're not doing anything, but... They could be doing a little more physically wise. All right, you do That's this. I'll do Gregory. your job. Five minutes. Come on, go. Sure. Fine. So he's got to lead the charge Fine. here. I'll do your job. Just keep he could on. so easily be a tyrant. When you're younger, having just like a, a slight year on somebody instantly makes you way stronger than them and more authoritative. It's like such a big difference. Like eight to nine is like generations. Now nine to fifteen, that guy can kick everyone's ass here. Oh, you're you're cool. Cool. How far have they made it? 30 feet? I thought that Greg was being a real jerk. I was getting really ticked because he was accusing me of not doing anything when I was actually doing stuff, even if he couldn't see it. Already I mean, having trouble. You know, it can't get any worse. We're only going up from here. Got a first century now. How far into the first episode? Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Someone is torn an ACL. I don't know. This is disaster. Oh my lord. That was fast. Is it a sudden pain or a yes? You can do it right here. Is that here? Eat him. There's only one option here. Someone has to get the taste for blood. I think it's like a spasm. He's having a stroke. I think I pulled a muscle in my leg or something. It was very painful. Greg, help me out. Oh, that was pretty cool. He's dead weight. Drop him now. And the two girls were pulling the wagon in the first place. Stepped up and they were great. Leave him behind. If he can't make it to Bonanza City, he doesn't deserve to be there. Don't relate him to JR. JR didn't have to get carried. All right, this looks There's like... There's nothing here. It just looks like there was something, but now it's gone. I would be terrified if I was a kid. I'd be fucking mortified. If I, like, I probably would sign up for the show and think it was, like, somewhere else, and then you're here, dude? This is awful. You are fucked. I felt sort of weird because I thought that maybe there would be adults. Wait, you thought? No they, hold on. So, like, they, they have no idea what they signed up for. Or maybe they did, and they're too young to even remember what someone told them. I thought there would be adults. Poor fucking Alex, dude. He's one of the younger ones. The adults. Here, in a kid's world, there's no President Bush. There's nothing. Because that would help. Yeah. President Bush. Hey, Mallory, come here. This is a bunkhouse, all right? They have bed structures. No, they do fucking not. Oh my god, dude, they did nothing for them. They did literally nothing for them. Okay, that's something. Also, what are the ethics of the cameraman? That was my next question. Maybe it's a kid as well. We don't really know. Girls, your houses are over there. Our houses are over here. Okay. Got it? Everybody's like, what do I do? What do I do? What's this? What's that? Oh my gosh. It's just gonna be hard. Hey, yeah. Yeah, you want all the counselors round everyone up and then divide them into groups for the bunks. And then they can work on cleaning up their bunk because they're all so messy and dirty. I'm thinking that people were talking about like what you call it a town meeting. I really think we should wait till dinner because that way it'll be a lot easier yeah. to just get everybody in one place. Yeah, I like this kid so far. He's got a plan. I think that kid's gonna survive. He's gonna call it now because obviously we gotta take our bets. We gotta take our bets on which kids are gonna make it. I think that kid might make it. I assume people have died. The kids don't know about it yet, but Taylor, Mike, Laurel, and I are always watching to see who to give the gold star to. Cooking They've already made gangs. Gold star cookbook. Awesome. Let's get him a ice cream. Rock candy. Let's, let's make that. Dude, we got to focus on what we're going to eat for dinner. Well, when we first started planning for dinner, I realized that a lot of us haven't done anything like this before. This is so not butter. To light a fire, place paper in the firebox. Bro, this is like fucking Minecraft with these instructions. I feel like this is harder than Minecraft, but I'm really bad at Minecraft. <laughs> Imagine this. They gave him a sentence of instructions. No, like, yeah, I'll just figure it out. Stand back. Just stand back. <gasps> Stick plus. <gasps> no. They give him a lighter. I don't believe it. And they didn't have Minecraft as a reference. You're right. So they really don't know what they're doing. Water's boiling. Which one's costing two? Wait, no, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Wait, 
too much pasta. It's not gonna come. Someone oh had to step God. in. We weren't really gonna eat anything. Bro, oh, they. <laughs> What, how do they cook pasta wrong? What do they do? It's not heated enough, I guess. Someone's getting fucking burnt. We'll never eat. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 no. I was not wasted. It wasn't cooking. It wasn't Stop like, arguing. Okay, I oh, they put way too Sorry. much in? Is we that what happened? Cook. They didn't boil the water first. Oh. I'm really not a cook, but I'm just going to guess that you need to bring the water very hot before you put it in. I cook mac and cheese, all right? I've cooked mac and cheese. Oh, no. I'm so starved. I could eat off my own leg. Do it, Jared. You won't. The whole town's talking about it. Be patient. Okay. 15 minutes. Okay. 15 minutes. Oh, people are really After this five minutes, if it's not done, then we go to plan B, whatever plan B is. We don't have plan B. That's still it. They can do it. Come on. Their first meal. I got faith. I got faith in one meal. Oh, they got first meal. Go eat. Enjoy. Wow. Wow. Let's go. Okay. No. It's um, kind of mushy pasta, but the point is that we're finally eating. I'm it's food, baby. You just see Jared already nibbling on his leg. It's oh. really bad. I had to do I this. Just, like, and I just miss my own bed and like getting to eat protein like and meats and all. And just like getting and eat a healthy meal. So it's real hard. I did sleep away camp at like, I think also like 11 years old. And after one week and everything was done for me, I was pretty sad too. This is one day with no help from anybody at they're at their breaking point and I don't blame them at all. Hi, She's compared. faking for empathy. <laughs> How? Today was one of the hardest days I have had and if things don't get better then I really just am gonna leave. So far really this kid seems like the realest person so far. I don't know why you hate them. I don't know if I'm gonna be at the meeting or not. I just... Why? Today has been the worst day in three years. Oh, Whoa. Crazy. That's like half his life. You know, I'm tired too, but... I'm here making an effort to try and make this work. I'm trying to be a leader here. God and damn, just, Mike. Yeah. Where's he crying? Oh, I'm feeling like really stressed and really worried. Oh. It's just been really tough. I guess I'm just gonna have to keep pushing. No, he's got that grit. He didn't let them see him cry. Just the leaders, just his brethren. He held those tears until after everyone left. And that's what you want to see. That's what a real leader does. You never let them see you cry. I think I'm tired and I'm stressed. That we were prepared for the scale of what we're doing. And it's just huge. Everyone's sort of depending on you. All eyes are on you. If you make a mistake, everybody knows about it. Oh, that's really it. <laughs> the other thing kids aren't good at is consoling each other. They're really bad at that. Kid says, I'm really stressed. And she's like, everyone here knows it. They will know if you're stressed. So, you know, don't fuck up. Leading this town is definitely gonna be a lot harder than I was really thinking it was gonna be. Pretty much our work is cut out for us to just prove that we can do this. Our work is cut out for us to prove that we can do this. Because your work is not cut out for you. So that means we have to mix the condensed milk with water. Please follow the recipe. This is gonna be good. It's gonna be so much better than dinner. <laughs> the second day, I think it's going a lot better. I had eggs! All these people handling the livestock, bringing us eggs and goat milk. Oh, I damn. All right, they got kids that can do yeah, stuff. All right. I have about 18 goats at my house, and I milk them. You know, that's something that I would wait to tell people. If I had 18 goats, I don't want to be the goat boy. You know, who wants to be the goat boy? I would see if anyone else is good with goats, and then I'll offer it up if no one knows what they're doing. I am very hungry, and as Martin Luther King Jr. said, I have a dream. Yeah. I don't think he was referring to this exact situation, but yeah. I don't see any food. No food! Who just said that's Andy? <laughs> that is Andy King for sure. <laughs> no food! When we say one pancake a piece, you need to take one pancake a piece. Some people didn't get pancakes. I didn't mm. get any pancakes. And it's always the little kids, you know? The little eight year olds who don't get any food. It's not fair though. They then, need you know, less, they're chaotic, smaller. They're complaining. You took all the peaches. That's our food. That's our food. Mom, you better get out my face. We were eating, we had problems, and since we had finally gotten everybody together, we decided to hold a big meeting. You have to like get involved and kind of help. You have to work with other people, but no, no, not that everyone 
everyone doesn't have a job. Everybody can get a question if they don't know what to do about it. In the meeting, what they really should have done is kind of really tried to get some order there. Take control, one person at a time. Cool. Okay. I thought that, you know, our leaders could be doing better and keep it more, a little more organized. Everybody if only George Bush was there. You need to take control. You need to let people... We are! Mike! Mike, stop! Why? I really hope that civilization has Mike's back on this one. Greg is clearly the biggest in town. Greg's like the bandit. All right, Mike's trying. He's trying his best. We are. Mike. Mike, stop. Why? Greg, since he's all big and strong and older, Four years old he then. would try and break me down. That's sure what it felt like. He was trying to break me down hard. Do you play it down? Whoa, whoa, whoa. When you make fun of his winter hat in front of everyone, you get the respect. You want me to take charge? I'll take charge. Mike, what are you doing? Kid drama is way more fun than adult drama. I just want to point that out right now. Way more fun. Greg made me really mad. He pushed me to like my limit. We can learn from him. And I'm leaving the meeting. Bye, guys. Greg is not very nice. Yep. He thinks he's cool, but he's not. Tell him, Jimmy. Okay. You're not just representing yourselves. This is to prove that kids of all age groups like you guys can actually take control, get organized. Who the hell is this guy? Where'd this guy come from? Out of nowhere. I've never seen him once. You guys actually need to listen to your leaders because yes, okay, they've made a few mistakes. This is the second day. There's gonna be mistakes, okay? But you guys really need to think of your job and you need to take control of it. And after we do that, we'll just become a working machine and roll chips. And roll chips. And we'll all just work out. I know what say. Wow, that was a different Michael. So you got Mike and you got Michael. Wow, he's a great spokesman. Maybe Mike can be the leader and he could be VP un unless he proves himself. Maybe he could be the leader. Maybe we needed the full Mike. But wow, great speech, Michael. Crushed it. Thank God Michael came up. Okay, and what I love is Mike understands the goal. He's not jealous. He saved it. Thank God. He's going to get the gold star. Michael's going to get the gold star. Yeah, Michael Mike's recognized Mike. He absolutely deserves a gold star. I wanted to get kids to look at the bigger picture here and not just oh, themselves. 14. And I really hope that it worked. I'm thinking like, there's ones over here. That's, that's really good. Okay. We were finally able to like calm down. I'm pretty sure that it's going to get easier, that we're going to come together. We're going to get more organized. Hi. Hi. Can you come out here for just a second? I hope Greg can see the bigger picture. What you gotta do is you gotta get the other oldest kids in town. You know, actually what you should do at this point, you gotta send a message. You gotta send a fucking message. Yeah, I see someone said town execution already. Okay, I wasn't really going there. Honestly, I wasn't going that far, but something's gotta happen. You're in olden times right now, all right? You see the leg bandana? That's what his leg's gonna look like after this conversation. There's gonna be a few more. Nothing crazy, all right? He is the oldest in town. You do need him, but a little jail time, why not? I just wanna make sure that we're cool, right? I didn't get upset. All right, we're good. All right, thanks, man. No problem. You haven't seen me oh. upset. I'm just going to keep working to make sure that I never lose my cool. Very nice Sometimes leader. Nicer than I would have been. Here's the book. A Pioneer Journal. You know, there's Bonanza City, 1885. That's helpful. If you're reading this, then you've made it to Bonanza City, my hometown. <laughs> It's literally a ghost town. I'm sure this book ends with, we all died, get the fuck out of here, leave kids, <laughs> save yourself. And things are pretty bleak around here. I there it is. Tech. We couldn't make this town work, <laughs> but maybe you can build a better oh, place no. and a better world. It's literally what it is. <laughs> We couldn't make it work. We were grown adults and this place is unsalvageable. It's just the worst terrain. The weather's awful. We hate each other too. You're not going to make it work. Maybe you can build a better bonanza and a better world. Maybe Here's you can, advice. you children. Okay. If you want your town to work better than ours, best divide your groups into four equal districts. Who's your first pick? Greg. All right. Does that mean I have to take Blaine? They bunk together. It's Blaine like a fucking fantasy dress. Friend. I'll take Sophia. Can you pass me those knives? I picked Sophia because of her leadership skills. No, no, no. Like this. Uh, and also Michael because he gave this really, really good speech today. Oh, Michael's a top tier really pick. Michael's him. first round we draft for sure. Like, He's got a lot of promise. Awesome. I chose my district, keeping in mind, like, who I dealt with better, like, DK and Jared. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no
Andy King's not a great pick. We had to split you guys up into four different districts. What? And we've kept that friends together. We tried to keep friends with friends good. and people who weren't friends. We tried to split them up. Oh, hey, little Pantanas. Go to the red district. PK. Jared. This is going district. to start gang violence. I can already tell this is not a good idea. You are splitting people up into factions. There will be warfare. Yeah! Bunkhouse one is the guys. Bunkhouse two over there is the girls. Angie has the oldest kids. Turn it up. There's no way kids don't immediately, if you're put on teams, think that you're against each other. It's gonna happen. Everybody's pretty awesome. I hope we're one of the tightest districts in Old Man City. Old Man Wait, City? This no, city no, looks no, like no, there's no, chi no, children no, in, I think I in it. Where's Jimmy? I don't know. I'm Jimmy? Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy! He's by himself. What's going on? I'm only eight, I'm in a third grader, and I don't think I'm, I think I'm too young to be doing this. Smartest thing anyone said. I do not think I'm old enough to be here. No one is, Jimmy. You're on the right track. You're really cool, and you're really awesome, and you can really do a lot for this town. I know, but I want to be older to do this. <laughs> well, Taylor's really upset, too. She really wants to go home. So you should go home. I just told myself, just stick it out and prove to your friends and family back home that you can be real brave. As tears slip down her face. Wait, we guys don't like Taylor? When does she start sucking? I don't see it so far. I know you're really upset because you don't have your mother here to tuck you in and you really miss your family. And my dad. And your dad. And I'm going to try to like substitute for them. Just, okay. for, just for a little while and just make you feel a lot more comfortable here. Just give me a chance. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay, she, Laurel's pretty good at this. Isn't this show like child abuse? Yes. <laughs> that was the first thing that we got out of the way. Yes, this show is clearly child abuse. <laughs> now you just watch. Wait, did they just vandalize? I didn't even notice. I was too focused. Did they just graffiti? Holy shit. Oh my god. Look. Oh so no, those ruffians in the middle of the night, team blue. I mean, they did it in yellow chalk, but I guess they didn't have blue. Oh my Lord, what's gonna happen now? Who was it? Who was it? Was that Greg? Literally the fucking 15 year old is the one doing this. Yo, fuck these kids that are slightly younger than me. Dude, the oldest kid is the worst in the fucking group. Oh no, don't tell me it was Michael. If that was, I'm gonna be so upset after that great speech. Somebody has graffitied with the chalk all over. I'm gonna this find out who did this. Be accepted or Cause tolerated. this is not okay. What do you know so far? That Maybe kid's ready to attack. Blaine. I think it was really, really stupid that they did that. It's juvenile. It's like two-year-old behavior. Okay, so what we gather so far is that the young ones seem to always be better and smarter than the older ones. I mean, Alex hit it on the money right there. Um, some of them, but don't tell me I told you. I don't if I'm they give Alex friends. shit for tattletaling, I swear to God, I swear to God, Greg and Blaine, I will find, I mean, you're probably way older and bigger than me now, but I, you know, I won't do anything, actually. Nate, and now Alex, uh, they think it was the older boys, Greg and Blaine. Just by height alone, I think the older one's the only one can reach that high. I want to show them. What we should do is we should put a caution sign on the door. We've got 40 kids and we've got one bathroom. Very sneaky. Dude, these kids are going to get fucking like dysentery. Set them up with some essentials. Just some essentials would be nice. 40 kids, one bathroom is cruel. I am not ever using that thing. <laughs> He's just gonna hold it in the whole show. I am never gonna take a shit in 40 days. You know, the whole town is just gonna start smelling like shit because kids are just gonna start shitting behind here, shitting over here. No one's gonna wanna go in that bathroom and I don't blame them. All right here, gather up! And the bell's ringing and ringing. And I've seen John Oh my God, it's all, get us out of here. Pioneer living is tough, isn't it? Yes. And what would you know, John? Been, Jimmy, you're a little quiet over here. How's this on you? You're, you're only eight years old. Are you missing your parents? Yeah. I think we probably all miss our parents, right? Yes. <laughs> Even me, I miss my parents too. I mean, I'm going right back to a hotel after this, but I also miss my parents, just like you guys. Well, maybe it's time to get a little bit more organized. How does that sound? Yeah. 
This board lays out all the jobs that need to be done to make this town run. Cooking, cleaning, even running stores. That's right. Running stores! You guys are going to be managing stores in Bonanza City filled with cool stuff. You'll even run a soda saloon where root beer costs a nickel. How does that sound? Okay. You're going to have to make your own root beer, idiots. We have introduced capitalism store. into the society. <laughs> we have introduced a monetary system into society. This will go great. Starting right now, you get paid for doing your jobs. Yeah! Yes! Yes! I love the bottom line. Let's go! The laborers get 10 cents for hauling water and cleaning latrines. Okay. Because All right. We have a nice little leveling up system. Get 25 cents. The merchants get 50 cents for running all the stores. Uh, the council gets a dollar? There's the upper class. They get a dollar. No assigned chores, and they can pitch in wherever they're needed. What? There's, there's a certain class of people that just get paid more money for doing less work? What? This is so random and not emblematic of a different society. This is stupid. In true Wild West fashion, we're going to have a showdown. What? Uh -huh. It's Here are your district pistols. against district to earn your job oh. and your paycheck. Here's what I need you to do. In these bags are your showdown uniforms. So everybody gets suited up and pumped up. Yeah. It's showdown time, you guys. We're going to introduce in society what's called war. Blue team's pretty strong. We got a lot of big kids, and I think we can do good at this showdown. Hopefully we can get upper class. He's at it again, dude. This guy's a menace. Go blue! Go blue! Who the hell said that? No. Ah! Oh, Jimmy. Dude, that's going to be the last straw for Jimmy. Nice. He got his ass. Screamed right in that ear. Welcome to your very first showdown. Yeah! This showdown is all about teamwork and leadership. Each district is going to grab one of these giant pups, head out into the field, and find all the pipes in the ground. Drop your pump on the pipe, pump as fast as you can, and water will come spurting out of the top. Okay, so That's I see where they're grab doing. The yeah, literally introducing Catch oil. Catch as much water as you can, run back here, and fill up those bottles. But here's the thing. The pipes spray different colors, red, blue, yellow okay and green. this is kind of like a fun a team challenge i guess i mean it's a little over the top but it, you know it's like a colors war kind of thing if you took out all the awful child society with no adults and making them shit the same thing and fucking just already probably contracting disease you take all that out of here it's a pretty fun color day does that make sense yeah district with Greg and all these strong kids you're kind of underdogs compared to them council here's a map to guide you to your pipes and your colors. First district to fill those bottles becomes the upper class. Second place for the merchants, third place for the cooks, fourth place for the laborers. Oh God. One more thing. I'm setting the stopwatch for one hour. If every district finishes- I wish the they called the lower class something funny. And if you're last place, you are called a poor person. You're Huge called the sewage rats of society. Town. Everyone can spit on you. And go! All the council leaders got a map. And on that map, it showed different colored X's of where their pipes Blue team starting to pump. Red team has some water. All right. Yellow making progress. I definitely want to beat the blue team because I want to prove that younger kids can beat older kids. Stop! Stop! Oh, he's going to catch it in the bucket. If you pump fast, but came in a lot of zigzags, and you couldn't catch it with your bucket. So we got our pumpers to slow it down. I know everyone wants to make the, make the like joke. Everyone, everyone wants to make the fucking joke. Oh, must be a good time, you know? There's kids around, all right? Don't fucking make the joke, all right? Blue in the lead. Hey, guys, you are 20 minutes in. Green district. Dude, the cameraman's getting so behind. Other district leaders are running their teams. Mike's running back and forth. That was the first time that I really looked at Mike in a different light. He rose to the occasion. It was amazing, actually. I was in awe of him. Pioneers, 30 minutes left. Go, go, go. Dude, 50 Blue minutes of this shit. Red, very close to winning. Red, very close to winning. I thought it was a fun color wars exercise, but this is 50 minutes of child labor. Mike, lead your team home. The first district to get your pump across the finish line wins. 
fire pump, dude. That's so fucking the heavy. The district is the upper class. Blue, you are. Red's the, the upper class. class. Blue are the merchants. I wasn't very happy, but. Oh no, whatever. dude. Yeah, that's what's gonna do it, dude. Jimmy's not gonna be in the upper two classes. I felt really good to know that we were able to beat these big strong guys. Just because of a really good teamwork. Now Greg's going to have a, such an ego. Oh, he's going to be so annoying. <laughs> Green against yellow, the youngest kids in town. Yeah, everything was stacked Taylor against them. Helped us so much on the challenge. She really motivated us, helped us with the map, told us where the pumps were. Come on, one more bottle, y'all. We got to move really fast. Why do they let them pick their fucking districts? There should have been like an older kid for each team. Oh, God. We definitely wasted a lot of time trying to get from one pump to the next. Pump faster, harder, anything! Yeah, I'm getting beat! Yellow! Your bottles are full! Now bring back your pump! Here they come! Pull! Pull! Yes! yes. We get to cook stuff. for everybody in town! Let's go! Yes! This gives me the confidence to think At that. At least we're not those poor me. peasant fucks. <laughs> Yet, there's still a big reward to win, guys. Five minutes. At least we'll cheer them on. Come on, baby. All right, everyone wins. Except they're a pretty easy society now. We came in last place, but finished the whole showdown before time run, ran out and won a reward. We were so, so excited. Congratulations. I'm going to go back gonna to civilization. Kid, upper class. A dollar each. <laughs> I wish he just like threw the shit in the ground. I mean, that wasn't the best toss. Yeah, he, he, he throws it to them, the upper class to catch. And then when he gets to the lower ones, he's like, here's your nickels. Pick them up. Merchant class, 50 cents each. Cooks, it's a little lighter. Here you go, Taylor. 25 cents each. And laborers, there's just a little bit of money here, Laurel. Sorry. 10 cents John, each. John, it's so Ten. fucking smug. This guy is the smuggest piece of shit. And you want a reward for the entire town. The reward is going to be a choice. Ooh. On my right. Outhouses. Seven, four of them. That's right. Oh my God. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank God. Yes, please. We need those. We need those, John. Now, on my left. It's like a kid chained up. You could save this child and add him to your group. You can save him and get him out, but seven outhouses. Make your choice. Yeah! It's a really cool RC car. A TV that you can watch. Whenever you want. Of course it's going to do something like that. Or a television set. Now, it doesn't have any cords, but here is the TV. Town. It's really up to you. So take a walk, talk, and figure this out. This is tough. I would honestly say that they could watch me. I would say if they supply them with everything, if it's not a little joke, they have the cables, they've set up some generators with electricity, I would just pick a new poop spot. Everyone just has a new spot where we go, all right? We don't need outhouses. If I was a kid, absolutely, I would take the TV. If we had the TV, it would encourage people to go sit on like their butts and not do any work and watch the TV. Oh, I'm going to say the opposite. I'm going to say the alpha response. I think the TV will motivate us to work harder so we can play more time on the TV. Kids get TV time if they complete their tasks. It's beautiful. I love it. When are they going to have time to actually watch the TV? It's just better to get rid of it so that we don't and have no distractions from the essential work needed to build a city. Yeah. I'm dying now because I'm like, I, I want to watch TV now. Don't Curry, feel like you have to make the right choice, Mike. This is huge. What's it going to be? We made a quick decision that you guys are going to have outhouses. Yeah! This is how a mutiny starts. You should have taken a vote. People might attack you now in your sleep, Mike. I like how you tried to hype it up, though. We're going to have outhouses. Greg definitely wanted a TV, and Greg is definitely looking for blood. It's also nice that we don't really have to wait in line for, like, yeah. three hours. You know, I would actually negotiate. I'd be like, John, let me stop you right there. Actually, why don't you make it a TV with a Nintendo 64 and Super Smash Bros and negotiate something? How about we get the Nintendo 64 
with Smash Bros and Legend of Zelda, and we actually give you our outhouse. We give you our only outhouse. One seven outhouses, that's two for one TV. You know what this poll tells me? So for all my Americans, for all my true red-blooded Americans, I'm proud of you. For all my fucking communists, of course you want those outhouses, little bitches. You need to share everything. Find your own spot in the fucking desert to shit and go to the bathroom. Make it work, cowards. I'm the upper class, baby. <laughs> I'd be upper class in society. I'd be taking shits wherever I goddamn want. I'll sit in the fucking poor houses. I'm Greg now, dude. I've changed. This place is battle hard to me. What are you talking about, Gunner? Nothing. It's about where I might shit, and it may or may not be where the laborers are, if we had that TV. The Yellow District doesn't really believe in the cookbook, which I don't think is great. I feel like a lot of, sometimes I'm just surrounded by a whole lot of dumb people. You are. They're literally children. We were so nervous. We were scared. Everybody was going to hate it. <laughs> Let's see. This oatmeal is awesome. Pretty hard to scrub up, nice. Them. Their breakfast was delicious. Now I'm not really the special chef anymore. That's good though. That's good. We walk in there to like eat our breakfast and everybody's like, They learn to cook in two days. Rules. Kind of awesome. I was just a little annoyed that the yellow district really didn't want to do dishes. You should really start cleaning up while you're cooking. It really, it really helps. What is this? This is girl. I'm gonna throw this to the just do every one of the dishes. No, like I'm not doing dishes. I'm a beauty queen. I don't do dishes. All right. That was the first time. All right, it was the first time Taylor said something out of pocket. But in her defense, she did cook, you know, so maybe a little sass is okay. She cooked, uh, someone else clean, you know? I wanted to be up our class really badly, but we got merchants, and that's still pretty good. I love this kid. I hope Alex lives. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, cool. They gave them four stores. It was nice. Really exciting, especially the drag goods in the candy store. Until then, we hadn't had any tools. Thank God they have a pogo stick. Okay. What else they got? Four shoes. They got games. Okay, this is big, but you have to buy it? That's mean. That's really mean that they're making them buy their own toys from each other. I feel like people are going to start stealing. I feel like it's how you introduce thievery into the fucking town. And if I'm Greg, I'm thinking, yeah, these toys are mine. Oh, well, yes. Today will be a very good day. A very, very good day. That is totally good. When I went into the candy store. Okay, so all of their money is going to be spent here. All of their money is going to be spent here. And the merchants of the candy store will become the new kings of the town. Dark chocolate is the most expensive item. Yum, 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 yum. He's ah. like spending our entire salary. As he should. I need a fifth. Julius Caesar or Henry VIII. Okay, I picked King Henry V by Shakespeare. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm the first and only kid to ever buy a book in this town. I scrubbed toilets, I did laundry, and I hauled a big barrel of water. And I just got 10 cents and I can't afford a game of jack. Does it seem a little unfair? Maybe you'll do something about it that rhymes with cup rising? I want that bike. <laughs> Manarchy. Dancing for nickels. Anybody? Civilization <laughs> destruction. Bicycle. Thanks, man. Want me to dance for you? No, I don't. Thanks, Mallory. She's a town monkey right now. Olivia came over and, and gave me a nickel to dance further away from her bunkhouse. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Dance clubs have been introduced into this society. This isn't good. This isn't good. This can only get worse. Bicycle. All right, she actually made a fucking score, though. Wow. <laughs> it's called busking. Not the gold star. Who are we going to give it to? Oh. It's, it's we're supposed to be presented tomorrow. Give it to Jimmy, man. Jimmy needs that gold star for some hype up. He's in the lowest class of society right now, and he's eight years old. He's going to pass. I say that we should give they it out people to Sophia. Yeah. We all know that she's slaving in the kitchen. Yeah. You need to go get Laurel. Laurel in here? It's still open to anyone. If someone could impress us, maybe even before breakfast. Yeah. Especially Michael. He gave this really, really awesome speech. Oh, yeah. That was a long time ago, though. Yeah. Michael's speech was dope. Oh, dude, they're living in filth. City's getting better and all, but still, I'm not sure that I'm going to stay. We're looking for a jackrabbit with long ears. We got really close, but they ran away. Me? 
Campbell and Jimmy came up with the idea. Hey, won't we go jackrabbit hunt? Rabbit! What? Okay, Where's you guys will go? actually Where's lose that battle, I think. No. So, do you guys think if there's any way that they do catch a jackrabbit that'll help Jimmy stay here? Yeah. I really like the young kids. I think they're fun to have around. And I, I'd really hate to see Jimmy go. Oh, he really does like them. Yeah, I don't want to see him go either. Well, actually, no, I do want to see them go. I mean, I love Jimmy, but get him out of here. Jimmy, why would you want to go home right now? I just miss my family. That's it. What eight-year-old would be away from their parents, like, in the desert and not miss them? Dude, I want you I to stay go. to see what to happens yeah. to this town. Yeah, you do need to stay. You gotta stay to see how bad this is gonna going. go down. You should be proud of yourself. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> this is man's day! Come on! Oh shit. They discovered gender wars. Oh my god. Welcome to the very first Bonanza City Town Hall meeting. Will it be a patriarchy or matriarchy first? We have no idea. It could go either way. Right now we got a split. Oh no, we got three councilmen that are all men. Welcome to Pioneers. Every few days, we'll gather here to discuss some very important issues. Now it's your chance to get everything off your chest. First, are you happy with the job your council is doing? I so, think I would say yes. I think they've been doing a great job. I expected way more of a shit show, and it has gone okay. Raise your hand. If you're not happy with the council, raise your hand. What's making me really angry is that a lot of people aren't willing to do the dirty work. Like, I went around and I said this so many times to all the yellow people that the dishes needed to be... Whoa there, Sophia. The yellow people? <gasps> Hold the phone here. Hold on. They prefer to be called the yellow team. Let's slow a roll there. That's how you get people yee-hawing in that room. Dishes needed to be washed. I realize that joke made it sound like I was saying yellow people was the same as Vietnamese. That's not what the joke was. It was, I went that color to be any other color, honestly. I really wish she said blue people. For all you guys. <laughs> and if you guys don't appreciate that, then what do you guys want us Where's to do? We were, we're cooking the, dishes. the dinner we're and you're blaming us out for dinner. Guys, guys, guys. Come here. We're trying our best to clean the dishes, but there's like so many and it's gonna take us a while, but we're trying our best. The dishes needed to be washed. If that's not the council's fault, okay. if that is the council's fault, then I have a little problem with the council. Sophia was complaining. Well, geez, shut up. Oh, holy shit. No counter argument. Just shut up, Sophia. God damn. Sounds like she's doing all the dishes. Do to become more efficient leaders is kind of getting to know everybody. Because that way, when you do try to talk to them and urge them to get to do their job, then they'll also think of you as their friend, not only just a leader that's like in a position higher than them, which most people probably don't like. Oh, he is a hit with the crowd. <laughs> I feel like they added in a little audience ex ex applause there. I mean, the people went insane for Michael. Know, which most people probably don't like. <laughs> I promise that we will try to maybe like lead you better. And if we see anyone sitting around or doing nothing, we'll definitely make sure that they get up off their lazy butt and do something important. Yeah. Okay, second order of business. Now I know this has been an emotional few days and a lot of you miss your folks. I'm gonna ask this question in every town meeting. Does anybody wanna go home? This decision is irreversible. You can't change it, so I hope you really mean it. Do you wanna leave this entire experience and go back home? Taylor, you were pretty homesick. How are you feeling now? After like meeting all the like kids and like all the three of these guys, I just feel like this is my family and this is where I need to be the, like the rest of 36 days. Okay. The pressure is crazy. <laughs> you can emotionally manipulate kids to do pretty much anything at this age. You just reverse psychology it. This feels like very easy reverse psychology to make them think they want to stay, even if they're having a miserable time. Does anyone else here want to go home? Get Jimmy out of here. Get Jimmy out of here. Yep. Jimmy, come on. Jimmy, why do you want to go home? I'm really homesick. I think I'm way too young for this. <laughs> he 
He's so right, dude. He's so right. Fucking passive aggressive John's gonna come back with, oh, oh you miss your mom? Oh, you miss your mom, Jimmy? That's scary. <laughs> Do you want to leave this entire experience and go back home? Jimmy, come on. Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. You're doing a good job. Yeah. Oh, good. Stay strong. I thought it would be like a big, fun adventure and I would last the whole time, but I miss my family a lot. Well, you are a extraordinarily brave eight-year-old for coming out here on your own and doing this. And we're really going to miss like, you, buddy. It wasn't my we're decision. Proud of you. Are you guys proud of Jimmy? Yeah. Badass. We'll call your parents. We'll take you home. And this is the end of your Bonanza City experience. Bye, Jimmy. Bye. Bye, Jimmy. Now everyone's tripping when he leaves the aisle. Bye, Jimmy. Wow, I'm proud of Jimmy for staying so resilient to get out of there, actually, after 39 other kids told him to stay. Good on him. Last piece of business before we close, and I think you You're guys so are committed to quitting. No, you are just the fucking child bully <laughs> that wants other children to stay there. It's a fucking child commune. They're being forced to do labor just for a show. Now that Jimmy's gone, let's tell him about this $20,000 gold star that might have changed his opinion. Now you guys have heard of upper class, right? Have you kids heard of billionaires? Because that's pretty much what this is. That the council is going to give one of you in every town meeting. So council, who did the best job? Who do you want to be the gold star pioneer? Why don't you guys huddle up? Have you heard, have you heard, take a few You know seconds. the 1%. Have you heard of the 0.001%? Well, shit's about to get crazy. The person we felt who worked the hardest this entire time that they've been here is Sophia. After she wanted to get rid of the council, that is brave of them. Wow. But it sounds like she was working a lot, so this seems like a good remedy. The society is actually doing surprisingly okay. I want to thank the council. Meritocracy for, for, has surprisingly worked out. I've been trying really hard, and I'm sorry that I've been to bossy, keep her quiet. but <laughs> but I'm, I'm really I'm really trying to improve. Okay, we have now introduced lobbying into society. Now I'm going to tell you something that will drive you completely nuts. Okay. Ready? Shoot. That star you're holding. Uh huh. Pretty heavy, huh? Yeah. Well, it's worth its weight in gold, literally. There is a target on your back now, Sophia. They are after when you. When this is over, you and your parents can decide how to use the money for your future. I put a wanted poster oh of you in the middle of town hall. You are screwed. Me, right? And I, it's mine. It's yours. Twenty. Grand. Dude, these kids deserve oh. more than twenty grand for being on this show for forty days. <laughs> forty days, dude. Twenty grand is literally nothing for this exhaustion. I just won twenty thousand dollars, and yeah, I think that's tax. the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Thank you guys, and I'm, I'm gonna keep, keep working. I'm gonna do a really good job with this about this. I think they're gonna be yeah, thrilled. The parents are also, gonna yeah, they did say for your parents to decide what to do with it. If their parents are shitty enough to send them to this fucking hellhole, I think they're gonna take the money. Well, maybe you should give your folks a call. Can I? Sophia, here is a key to the only building in Bonanza City with a phone. Uh-huh. Why don't you take this key? Dude, they were never able to contact their parents either. I didn't even think about it. But they weren't even allowed to, even if they begged. Oh my God. She's like, holy shit. It's like Christmas. I can oh talk my to my own parents. I hope Sophia really inspired you guys because any one of you can win the gold star. And every time it's worth $20,000. All right, back to your job. You are building. Back to your jobs. Back to child labor. Oh my god. It's like a movie scene. Hello? Mom, it's Sophia. Sophia, hi! It didn't sound like you. I've got, I've got something to tell you. What's the matter? I just, Don't I just won $20,000! What? Are you kidding me? I was working the hardest as a pioneer. The town council voted me. We're building a town. They gave us this ghost town. It's totally empty. And we're just working. We're doing the laundry. We're cooking the food. I've been the head chef. I've been taking care of all the meals. God, I cannot believe it! When you hear your kids sounding happy, there is no better feeling in the First world. First parent we've seen. I'm so happy for you. 
so much money. Yeah, oh my gosh. I'm proud of Sophia. Sophia won the gold star. And $20,000 is a lot of money. Uh oh. $20,000. <laughs> That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I don't have $20,000, but it's. It's so close. Anyways. I'm gonna work harder and I'm gonna get one. So nice, yeah. Right, Greg. Right. I think morale just skyrocketed. Everybody is so much happier now. We're all having a lot more fun now. Nice. We've come a long way since day one. A long way that's so amazing. I'd like to see that. We can do things. We can make our own government system. We can make our own shops. We can Whoa. rebuild a whole- Alright, at least they're self-aware of the fucking government system. We can make this a kid nation. To Bonanza City! Oh, they're getting drunk! That's root beer. Okay, this guy needs to be on, like, a fucking FBI watch list. This is a crazy idea for a show. Can't believe he got this greenlit. Currently filming kids fighting. Okay, look, I obviously can campaign against this being a bad show, but since it already happened, it's wickedly entertaining. But if they try to launch it today, I would be the first one up there. Guys, what are we doing? I would say, no, guys, don't do that. It's a bad idea. Of course. You know I would. 